Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now quickly have a look at some of the questions. Question number 1. Cost of an item is rupees 50. It was sold with a profit of 12%. Find the selling price. So the cost price is given as rupees 50. So the cost price here is rupees 50. And the profit percentage is given as 12%. So profit percentage is 12% and we have to find out the selling price. So how would we find out the selling price? So for that we will we need to find out the actual profit because this is the profit percentage. But what is the actual profit? That is what we need to find out first. So we already saw that profit percentage is what it is nothing but profit which is made out of the cost price multiply by 100 so this is your profit percentage so we can write it as 12 is equal to profit divided by cp which is nothing but 50 into 100 so 50 into 2 or we can say profit is equal to 12 divided by 2. So 2, 6 is a 12. So the profit is rupees 6. So now that you know the profit, you know the cost price, you can very easily find out selling price. So selling price would be equal to cost price plus profit. So therefore it would be rupees 50 plus 6. So the selling price of the item would be rupees 56. Question number 2. A shopkeeper bought a chair for rupees 375. So the shopkeeper bought it for this much amount. That means this is the cost price. So the cost price is rupees 375 and sold it for rupees 400. So the selling price is rupees 400. Find the gain percentage. So gain is nothing but profit. So how much gain will the shopkeeper make out of it? That is nothing but SP minus CP that is selling price minus cost price which would be 400 minus 375 that is equal to rupees 25. So this would be his gain. Now you have to calculate gain percentage. So to calculate gain percentage you will have to write gain divided by cost price into 100 percent. So this can be written as 25 divided by 375 into 100 percent percent so this would be 5 5 so 25 5 into 75 is 375 then 5 15 is a 75 so 100 divided by 15 percent which is nothing but 6.66 percent so this would be the gain percent question number three an item was sold for rupees 540 at a loss of 5%. So the item was sold for rupees 540. That means selling price is rupees 540. And what is the loss percentage? Loss percentage is 5%. So we have to calculate the cost price. So how would we calculate the cost price? So for that we need to calculate the actual loss. Right? How do we calculate the actual loss? So actual loss would be the loss percentage on the CP. Right? So 5% of CP. Let us assume that the CP is X. The cost price is X. So loss would be 5% of X. That is 5 by 100 into X. This would be the actual loss. Now we already know that loss is given by CP minus SP that is the difference of the cost price and the selling price. So cost price is X, selling price is 540 and what is loss? Loss is 5X by 100. That is what we calculated here right. Loss is 5X by 100. So now we have to solve this equation. So this becomes 5X is equal to 100 into X minus 540. So that is how we solve an equation, right? Cross multiply. So this can be written as 5x is equal to 100x minus 54,000. Or we can say that 5x minus 100x is equal to minus 54,000. 
So after this, let me do it here. So 5x minus 100x would be minus 95x is equal to minus 54,000 or x would be equal to minus 54,000 divided by minus 95. So a negative integer divided by a negative integer gives a positive integer. And when you actually divide this, you get this value as rupees 568.42. Therefore, the cost price of the item would be rupees 568.42. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.